Over 500 million years ago, fantastic creatures sprang into being as though from nowhere. In geologic time, these animals appeared in the blink of an eye. For the evolution of life on our world, it was a singular, defining moment. Des Collins has dedicated his career to the pursuit of these ancient creatures. His quest carries him from the highest mountains to the most desolate deserts. But the challenge for Collins isn't just staying fit. As a paleontologist, he wants to look back in time. All the way back to more than 500 million years ago. By peering into the darkest recesses of animal history, Collins hopes to shed light on what has long remained a mystery. At Toronto's Royal Ontario Museum, Collins works with a vast repository of fragments from the ancient past. Fragments that reveal a world unknown until recently. We have a much better one over here. There's that. Uh... The, the claw, the large predator, oh, yeah. it shows up much better. Yeah, that's These the, fossils uh, from high in the Canadian Rockies form pieces in a puzzle that tell the story of early life on Earth. Yeah, that looks great, thank you. Okay, good. good. The locality I work with is what's called the Burgess Shale. It's, it's a very famous locality uh, known since it was first discovered about 1909. The numbers of fossils are in the tens of, of thousands. The first person that, that collected the, the famous locality out west uh, in Western Canada around the turn of the century, he collected some like 65,000 specimens in five seasons. Few fossils reveal an entire animal. So scientists must try to recreate ancient creatures piece by piece. You just never know what you're going to find. The excitement is finding something completely different. And you say, gee whiz, look at that. I've, you know, I've never seen anything like that. But perhaps even more exciting, at least more exciting to me, is finding something that I'm looking for. I, know, I have some pieces of something, sort of like a piece of a puzzle. So I, I know there's an animal out there which has this particular structure or looks a certain way. I want to find the animal all put together. Uh, but I, I remember those moments vividly when you get something and it's never quite what you expect, but it's sort of at the last piece of the puzzle. So this shows you the, the, the claws, which are, uh, we track it again. It often takes side. years and several false starts to piece a single creature together from various fossils. It's a tricky process of trial and error, as Collins found with a predator called Anomalocaris. Here you can see the eyes on stalk, you can see the, the tail, six parts of the, of the tail here. Now, Anomalocaris was first described over 100 years ago in 1887. Uh, the original Anomalocaris was based upon this particular claw. It looked like a shrimp body, it always seemed to lack a head, but it had what appeared to be legs on it. While some mistook a claw for an ancient shrimp, others were equally misled. Because of its circular markings, they labeled this specimen an extinct jellyfish. When further evidence came to light, both theories were shown to be wildly off base. What some had considered separate animals proved to be two parts of a single creature, Anomalocaris. What we thought were the body of a shrimp was actually claws, and what was thought to be a jellyfish was actually the, the jaws of this much, much stranger animal. It took uh, over 100 years to work out what this animal looked like from the first piece that we had. And all those scientists who worked with this stuff for 100 years, they all had it wrong. So of course, that makes me very nervous that, that uh, when I'm working with this stuff, particularly if I have something which seems to be a piece of something, since I cannot relate it to something that's alive today, when I try to put it together, the chances are I'm going to be wrong. And then we've since collected a complete uh, specimen of Anomalocaris. 
the uh, the claws coming here. The jaws don't show because you're looking under, on, the, on the underside of this. But you can see the whole animal here with swimming flaps and this very distinctive tail on, uh, at the bases. So we now have a pretty good idea. We've got the tail, we've got the head of what Anomaly Caris looks like. And here we have a, a nice model uh, of the whole animal. This is the major predator from the, uh, from the main Burgess Shale site. There is the, is the jellyfish jaws. Well, obviously, it's not a jellyfish. These are the, the shrimp body, which are the claws. And if you look at that, compared to the actual claw we have here, this is, this is, not, this is life size. So these things got as big as this. And we even have claws which are twice this size. So it's conceivable that Anomaly Caris got to up to a, a, a three or four feet in, uh, in length. So this was a major predator compared to all the other animals of that particular time. Mm -hmm.